Hey guys, today I'm going to be doing a book review on The Orphan's Tale by Pam Jenoff. One day, a train pulls up and Noah discovers a boxcar full of Jewish babies. Before she even realizes what she's doing, Noah grabs one of the babies and escapes into the forest. It's here that Noah stumbles upon a German circus, and in order to protect herself and the baby, Noah agrees to learn the Flying Trapeze Act. Her teacher is the proud but talented lead aerialist, Astrid, who harbors her own dark secrets. Noah and Astrid start off as unlikely partners, but soon develop a respect and friendship as the horrors of the war around them start to close in on their circus. Whew, you guys, this was an absolutely beautiful read. It was everything I was pretty much expecting and hoping it would be. Because, <laughs> yeah, I was definitely expecting it to be very beautiful and tragic, but uplifting. And, yes, yeah, seriously, I loved this book, you guys. I previously read The Winter Guest by Pam Jinoff, and I did enjoy that book, but there was something about that book, it, it just didn't wow me. You know, it was kind of generic in some ways. And this book, I mean, it is kind of your typical World War II type of book, but there was still something about it that I found kind of different and unique and refreshing because, yeah, the majority of this book, it takes place at a German circus. You know, a lot of historical World War II fiction, a lot of it takes place in, like, concentration camps or something like that. So, yeah, it was nice to have a focus at a circus and... Uh, what everyday people were going through. And yeah, I just liked being in the perspective of a circus, you know, because yeah, you have the war going on around them, but yeah, there's also daily circus life and the struggles that come with it because things aren't always perfect at a circus because we often, I think a lot of times we glamorize circus life and yeah, this book kind of is like, hey, this is what circus life is really like. <laughs> yeah, there's dangers that are involved and yeah, especially with the war around them and Nazis coming in, it's even more dangerous. And as far as Pam Jinoff's writing goes, I definitely was much more impressed with her writing in this book. Like I said, I read The Winter Guest and there was just something kind of generic about that. Her writing wasn't particularly impressive to me. And yeah, I did find her, her writing much more impressive. I think a lot better in this book. And I think the pacing overall was much better. Uh, overall, I just, I just really enjoyed this book, you know, from start to finish. As for the two leading ladies of this book, Noah and Astrid, you know, you have Noah, who is this young, rather naive 16-year-old girl, but yeah, she's been through a lot of crap. I mean, that's the thing. She was a naive young girl, but then, yeah, because she got impregnated by a Nazi soldier, that essentially ruins her life. She's disgraced. She's exiled from her own family. It's rather horrible. Yeah, she is kind of down in the dumps, if you will. She's lost all hope. She's lost the idea of romance in her life. And yeah, she's only like 16 years old. And yeah, a lot of crap has already happened to her at, by the age of 16. And then yeah, you have Astrid, who is this older woman who, I'm trying to remember, I think she's in her late 30s. She might be in her 40s, but I think she's in her late 30s. And yeah, she's she herself has been through a lot. She's been in the circus for a good majority of her life. Her family, you know, her whole family comes from a, from a line of circus people. So yeah, I love kind of this this rivalry between Noah and Astrid. I loved the two of them individually as characters. Uh, I think Pam Jinoff did a really fantastic job of, of giving them different personalities. You know, it's very important. Noah and Astrid, they felt believable. They felt unique and different from one another. They each had their own particular way of speaking and how Pam Jinoff would write them. Yeah, they each have their quirks and their flaws. Just really well done, I think. And yeah, like I said, I love the, the rivalry between them uh, because they don't initially start off as friends. Uh, they, they do have a gradual friendship build between them. And I mean, yeah, there's a kind of mistrust there. You know, Noah kind of, kind of, she comes out of nowhere. You know, she, like I, like I said for the plot summary, she finds a baby in a boxcar full of Jewish babies. 
she just kind of runs away, escapes into the forest with this baby, happens to come across the circus. So yeah, Noah is kind of suspicious at first at the start of this book and she's trying to protect the baby, she's trying to protect herself and yeah, Astrid in the meantime has her own dark secrets that she's trying to protect and yeah, can't she trust Noah? So yeah, I love the gradual build and friendship between these two women who, who are rather different but also similar at the same time despite the big age difference between them. And I think the one complaint I have with this novel, uh, Noah, she does develop a bit of a love interest with this boy named Luke. And I liked their relationship. It was really cute and sweet, but at the same time, it felt a little forced and unnatural into the narrative. It felt kind of, it was really rushed. Let's put it that way. It was a really rushed relationship, and I kind of had a hard time buying into it and believing it because it is very very rushed and quick and you, you gotta get on board it rather quickly. Uh, yeah I feel like this novel it should have been all about Noah and Astrid and their relationship you know that should have been the core. I mean it is it is the core of this book but yeah I feel like Luke he was a bit of a hindrance in there. It had its purpose but at the same time it kind of was a bit of a hindrance. So yeah I could have probably done without that that relationship to be quite honest. So yeah, overall, you guys, if you love World War II historical fiction, I think you would definitely really enjoy this. Uh, like I said, it takes place at a German circus. It's kind of refreshing to get away from the typical stuff that World War II historical fiction tends to focus on. Yeah, a very beautiful, heartbreaking, but uplifting story, a fantastic pace, a fantastic characters, I think, and yes, yeah, some twists and turns that you don't entirely see coming by the end of this novel. So yeah, I definitely highly recommend this if you guys have the chance to read it. So you guys, have you guys read The Orphan's Tale by Pam Genoff? Do you plan on reading it sometime in the future? Just let me know your thoughts down below. So that's it for this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you like this video, you may like these other videos. Bye guys.